Hello, today I would like to talk about braided rivers and braided river systems. So the main difference between meandering rivers and braided rivers is the geometry of the channel and that's caused uh, by the amount of bedload sediment um, within the river. So braided rivers have enough bedload sediment being transported that you develop bars uh, between the channels and a braided river thus ends up having multiple channels within the zone of the river unlike meandering channels which have a, uh, meandering rivers which have a single channel so if we draw uh, a general braided river outline you end up you have the floodplain on either side and then within this lower area you have uh, the main river flow and channel deposits um, with bars of sediment within them. So we'll make our flow um, go down the board like this. So if we map out through time, what happens, you end up with erosion at the top. That sediment gets transported down the sides of the bars. and deposited on the downstream side. Now, the uh, braided rivers um, commonly have quite a regular flow, and during times of flood, uh, the bars can be entirely submerged, and that's when a large part of the sediment transport um, happens, and in flood stages, you can completely rearrange uh, the bar system. Okay, so if we look at a cross-section of a braided river, what you see is floodplain and then you have the main the main river channel here and this is where you have the bars and during low flow you have multiple channels with the bars sticking above so the blue is the low flow time but during uh, high flow time, so for example, if you have glacial runoff or monsoon rains, the, the flow uh, is significantly higher, and often the bars are uh, submerged. So if we look at a stratigraphic column uh, for a braided river, because you have multiple channels uh, and they braid and migrate back and forth, we tend to get less regular accumulation of the fluvial facies than you see in meandering river deposits. So when the sort of channel set first migrates through, you have a big erosion surface. And then you get deposits from successive channels as they, may, as they migrate by. And each one of these has erosion typically um, on the bottom of it. And then you deposit the uh, coarsest material on top. So we may have. Uh, trough cross stratification, maybe some planar cross, uh, cross stratification, or, or planar uh, laminate stratification. Right? Um, so you end up with uh, multiple bars, some of which sort of fine up, and, and occasionally you get a bar top uh, preserved. And like in meandering river facies, that tends to be uh, the finest grain sediment is the shallowest flow and the lowest flow speed, so you might end up with ripples in finer grain sand there, um, whereas you have trough cross stratification, or planar, upper planar lamination, or sometimes uh, some planar cross stratification uh, within the channel deposits. So, um, and if you get vegetation in the dunes, maybe you get uh, some. Uh, root formation. And we'll have another channel migrate across, but in general, as this channel fills in and migrates somewhere else, you end up with an overall finding sequence. And then maybe uh, some sands at the top, and then some floodplain deposits, maybe a thin layer. They're often fairly silty, um, and then representing and uh, soil. 
uh, forming on the top there. So what we typically have with uh, braided river facies is an overall fining upwards, but you end up with these coarse intervals and more of kind of intervals. Thanks for watching.